Hey Box users! Welcome to video 3 of our Box CLI series. I'm Alex Novotny, a developer advocate here at Box. In the last video, I showed you how to create a folder using the built-in help functionality. In this video, I'll walk you through some of the more advanced features, like the as user header and bulk command options. Let's go! All right, to get started, I want to talk real quickly about application scopes and user permissions. Let's visit the developer console. If you've set up an application before or you've been collaborated on an application, you'll see a link to the console in the bottom left of the main box web app. Select the OAuth CLI application that you set up earlier. If you take a look at the configuration section and scroll down, you'll see sections for application scopes and advanced features. These options allow your application to complete various API tasks and are the same scopes that appeared in the pop-up during the step one of the quick start. For most OAuth 2.0 applications, you can simply check a box and click Save Changes. But for the other authentication types, or if your box administrator requires OAuth 2.0 apps to be approved, your administrator will have to approve your selections. It's important to remember that most of the options here require your user to have administrator privileges. Simply clicking Manage Users doesn't give you the ability to manage users. Also, by default, you can only see the content that your user has access to. This is true for OAuth 2.0 or other authentication types. For example, if I get the root folder, I see the folder for the user I set up the CLI with. But what do I do if I want to grab another user's root folder? I'm going to run the command box users. This should list out my enterprise's user list. And I'm going to select one for this example. We'll use Amanda Allen. I'm going to copy this ID. Also, over in the configuration section, you'll want to make sure that you have the make API calls using the as user header setting checked. And if not, you'll want to check it and click Save Changes. In the terminal, I'm going to run that same command, but I'm going to tack on at the end dash dash as dash user equals and paste in the user ID I copied. When I hit enter, I'm going to see the root folder for this user, not the root folder of my admin. The as user option can be very powerful because you can use it for any CLI command. Another advanced feature is using bulk commands. This comes in handy when completing repetitive tasks. Let's say that you wanted to create five folders under a user's root folder. Doing so without the bulk option would require typing out five separate CLI commands, but doing so with it means only typing one. First, we need to create a CSV. You can use any spreadsheet editor of your choice. For this example, I'm going to use Microsoft Excel. For the header row in that CSV, we just need to create separate column names for each argument, and we can find these column names by typing the dash dash help for that particular command. And I'm going to use the folder command. So box folders colon create dash dash help and hit enter. And we see the arguments of parent ID and name. So in Excel, I'm going to use those as the column names. If I open Excel, I'll type parent ID and name. Now for this example, I want to use Amanda Allen again. And if we open up box, I can find under Amanda, I have a particular folder here called OAuth CLI folder. And for the parent ID, I'm going to use this folder ID. I paste the ID in the parent ID column. And if this happens where it's not the appropriate format, you can just select the column and make it a number and you'll want to remove any sort of decimal places. When it's saved as a CSV, this needs to look just like the folder ID does in box. So I made two rows here and I'll make a couple of test folder names. So test folder one. We're going to save this file as a CSV. Then we can go back to the command prompt. 
I'll have box on the other side so we can see it when it's created. I'm going to run that same command again, but this time instead of dash dash help, I'm going to do dash dash bulk dash file dash path equals and then I can actually drag and drop it from finder directly to the command prompt or terminal and it will write out the path for me exactly and if I hit enter it will run a command for each of those now you see we got an error here and it's saying hey this isn't found but the reason why it wasn't found is because I'm making it in another user's folder that I don't have access to. So what I can do, I can hit the up command again. If I hit dash dash as dash user equals, I'm gonna copy, remember Amanda Allen's user ID at the bottom here. And now if I run it, it will work because it can actually find that folder. And it says all bulk input entries process successfully. And if I run over here to this um, admin console where I can look at Amanda Allen's folder tree, I'll go into the OAuth CLI folder and I see that the two folders were created. Now, this is super powerful. And we have a folder with templates that you can use for several of the different CLI commands. And those exist in the Box CLI GitHub repository. And I'll have a link to this in the description box below. Thanks for watching video three of our Box CLI series. In the last video, I'll show you how to use a PowerShell script to automate provisioning a user and starting their initial folder tree. Until next time. If you love the Box Content Cloud and want to see more videos, make sure to like this video and click subscribe. You can also follow us at Box Platform. See you soon.